the Irish Grand National is next as a grade 2 handicap with some really high rated horses at the top so the handicap is pretty pointless again National Mandela at the top four Joshua Sutherland Target Craig Beckwith Battle Thralls and Jewel Flower for Leon Van Rensburg Pop World and Good Queen for David Hoody Toxford Darren Thompson Galaxy Craig Beckwith El Villar Bean Vinny Gerard Langley Street for Graham Clutterbuck El Villar Prompt Vinny Gerard Law Society Graham Clutterbuck Fermi on Freeze for David Robertson Monash VJ Daniel French Captain Mannering and Penelope Pitstop for Martin Lee, the major of the free and Alexandra Cornwall for Padraig Hogan, Sandbrook, John Morgan, Amorous Scarlet, Stu Gray, Royal Wedding, Matt Cooper, Classic Chance, Alex Cherry, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Matt Cooper, and Arctic Watch for Alex Cherry, Big Field, then away and racing. Many opportunities for these long distance horses this week, but none of them any good for the lower weighted or middle weighted horses because the top weighted horses have pushed the handicaps right up you've got this one you've got the Whitbread and you've got the Scottish National they're all sort of from having really high rated top horses in it and they're over the first and they're all safely over it with Sandbrook clear in the lead set at a stiff pace to the race and will probably cause the same sort of carnage it caused last week if the jumping doesn't hold up Captain Mannering is surprisingly close up in second as they get to the second which is the first of the ditches and we've lost something there law society's gone so law society's out of it and sandbrook is a good six lengths clear on Fermi on freeze wide on the track in second and captain manor in his third as they get to the third i'm not sure why some of those wide are not cutting in and all safely over to the third with sandbrook clear in front and Holding along nicely, probably a good eight lengths clear now. Oh, Fermi on Freezy in second. The cameraman's going to have difficulty keeping everybody in shot. They're in a pan so far, I might need a pair of binoculars to be able to see where they are. But it's Sandbrook who's in the lead. Going into fence number five and went right into that one. It's lost a bit of its advantage, but still six to seven lengths clear. Oh, Fermi on Freeze in second, and Captain Manor in third. Stone Cold Steve Austin is leading the main group with National Man on the top weight and target the second top weight after that. Then Penelope pit stop as they get over the sixth. And we've lost another one there. Galaxy's gone, so one of Craig Beckwith's two is out. And Sandbrook, who's eight lengths clear. Oh, Fermi on Freeze and Captain Manor in. And Stone Cold Steve Austin and National Man as they take the seventh. And we've lost a couple more there. El Villar Bean has gone, and so too has Alexandra Cornwall. Uh, the fallers are coming thick and fast, as they did in the National last week. And I think it's down to the fact that Sandbrook is setting such a stiff pace. And Sandbrook continues to lead by eight lengths to Fermi and Freeze, who's shook off Captain Mannering, who's now back in third. Then National Madame Matopway is fourth as they get over the eighth. Safely over the eighth with Good Queen, just the back marker. Sandbrook's in front. Really good jump over the ninth. And there's something else gone down there. Darren Thompson's Tuxford's gone. Another fall up. And Sandbrook continuing to lead from Fermi on Freeze in second. Captain Mannering is third. Then National Madam is four and Target is five. Langley Streak is sixth. Then comes Stone Cold Steve Austin and Battle Thralls, an agent of the free. Then Pop World and Penelope Pit Stop. Then after that, Amorous Scarlet and Classic Chance as they get to the next. And this time the leader ran straight into it and has suddenly found his lead down to no more than five lengths now. And Sandbrook, though, still is the leader with two miles to go just about as they take the 11th. That's the midway point in the jumping. And we've lost quite a few already, but we didn't lose any more at that one. Just the five departed so far and then Sandbrook will take them past the winning post past the stands and out for the final circuit and a lead of about five lengths or so to Fermi on freeze who's got the same advantage over Captain Manor in back in third and then National Madam is fourth Langley Streak is fifth and then Battle Thralls and Target then comes Agent of the Free and Stone Cold Steve Austin Amara Scarlet Elvillar Prompt and Pop World and next then Classic Chance and Penelope Pitstop has dropped back a bit Royal Wedding is after that one then Monash VJ as they get over the 12th Captain Manor in a mistake uh, looking at the back, Good Queen and Arctic Watch are the back pair who are now out of shot. But it's Sandbrook 
who's going to lead into the 13th of the 22 fences with a lead of five from Fermi and Freeze, who's probably now seven clear of the rest of them as they get over the 13th. And we'll stream over that one, okay. Including the back markers, Arctic Watch is the one who's right out the back now, but it's Sandbrook who's still the leader. Out on his own from Fermi on Freeze in second. Battle of Thrills has moved through into third as they take the 14th. Langley Streak is also up there as well now as Captain Mannerin is starting to drop away. Amorous Scarlet is making a forward move, so to Agent of the Free. And it's Sandbrook. Continuing to lead at the 15th. Fermi and Friso are in second. Slower jump there by Target as they all get over the 15th and head down towards the next Sandbrook, continuing to show the way. Over fence 16 they go. All over that one. Penelope pit stop. Good Queen and Arctic Watch of the three were virtually out of it out the back. And Sandbrook is still showing the way home, leading by a good six lengths still into the final mile now and over this ditch. Fermi and Freeze over it second, Langley Streak over it third. Then Battle Thrawns and Asia at the free, then Target. Captain Mannerin trying to creep back into it. The top weight National Madam is struggling under the weight. Amorous Scarlet's getting a bit closer, so is Pop World. And then he'll then are a bit of a gap into Stone Cold Steve Austin as they get over the 18th. Fermi and Freeze was a bit slow at that one. It continues to lead, but probably only by a four now. Fermi and Freeze is in the second. Big gap then back to Langley Streak and Battle Thrawns. Captain Mannerin starting to run on again. National Madam is next, then Angel of the Free is next after that one. As they head down towards the next, and suddenly Sandbrook is starting to tire, and Fermi and Freeze has come to take it up. Fermi and Freeze then jump that one in the lead from Sandbrook over it in second. Battle Thrawns is third, then Agent of the Free running on into fourth. Langley Streak is next, then National Madam and Captain Manor in Stone Cold Steve Austin is after that. El Villa prompt trying to run on. They get over to third last, and this Fermi and Freeze has shot clear. Here's a good four or five clear now. Battle Thrawns looks the danger in second. Sandbrook's not got anything left. Agent of the Free is in fourth, running on his Langley streak, it's surely between these, can't see anything else getting anywhere at all with only two to take and now Battle Thralls comes through to take it up, Battle Thralls has gone into the lead from Fermi and Freeze who's now beginning to struggle, Langley streak looks the only danger to the leader, Battle Thralls gets over it in the lead, from Langley streak over it in second, Battle Thralls on the inside, Langley streak closest to us they race down towards the final fence in the Irish National, it's Battle Thralls by half a length to Langley streak in second over it they go, they're lancing in the Battle Thrones is just about half a length up, finishing like an absolute train is Target, but now Langley Street goes into the lead. It's Langley Street, Battle Thrones trying to flock back. Target is absolutely flying on the outside, and Target is beginning to get up to take it. Target gets up and wins it. Target, what a win for Target. Battle Thrones in second, Langley Street third, agent of the three fourth, then Sandbrook, and Frank Beckwith might have won the big race yesterday I think it was the Irish Gold Cup but he would certainly have enjoyed that more I would think because that horse was going like a six furlong sprinter after the jump in the last and has won that nicely <laughs> so Target takes it then for Craig Beck with Battle Thrones for Leon Van Rensburg second Langley Street for Graham Clutterbuck was third Sandbrook for John Morgan stuck on for fourth and Agent of the Free for Padraig Hogan was fitter. One of the horses that was in the handicap, I think probably the only horse that was in the handicap, apart from maybe two others, has taken it. So a pretty impressive performance there for Target and Craig Beckwith taking the Irish Grand National.